Hello everyone, I want to do another autumn themed project for the Let's Get Arty prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. And for anybody that wants to follow along with our prompts and challenges, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group in the description box below. Now I want to use this stencil here. This is a 6 by 6 stencil by the Crafters Workshop, TCW, and it's called Aspen Trees. And I'm going to be working on a piece of 6 by 6 watercolour paper. Um, so I want to start start off by sticking my stencil down let me just see if there's um, a right and a wrong side I think it goes this way up and I'm just going to use some masking tape just to hold my stencil in place so we'll pop some tape on there this is just to stop it from moving around whilst I'm working on my project I want to use some distress oxides to color my background and I've chosen antique linen and iced spruce I'm going to start off with the antique linen in. and I'm just going to add some colour using this dabber here to my background. I love this colour. So I'm just going to pounce this on, trying to get um, into all the crevices on this stencil. Now this is a bit wobbly on one side. It's quite a fragile stencil so I'm just going to be careful about how I do this and I do hope that I'm not um, shaking my camera of course my tripod is mounted to my to my desk making sure that I've got plenty in all the details here okay I'm happy with that coverage so next I want to add some of the iced spruce so I'm just going to go straight over over the top I'm going to give this some um, a lighter pounce I don't want quite as much of the iced spruce on there but I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I think these two colours together will work really nicely. Make sure that I've got plenty of the iced spruce just on the, the branches here. I've played around with this and added a bit more grey at the top so that it's a bit darker um, at the top and I'm just going to spritz it with some water because of course we know that uh, the Distress inks oxidise and just look at that, it's starting to take effect. I've left that for a few minutes and you can see that they've really started to react. So I'm just going to dry this off with my heat tool, just being careful to move it around so that I don't melt my stencil. I think that's dry enough now for me to be able to peel off the masking tape. We've got rid of most of the, the puddles or all of the puddles. And then once I've peeled it off, I can really give this a proper, proper blast and dry it thoroughly. And let's lift this up and see what it looks like underneath. Just look how gorgeous that is. Now that the background is dry, I want to paint the trees and I'm going to use two different watercolour sets. I'm going to use the Derwent Graffitint set and I've also got this Japanese colour set as well. Now I've pulled out a couple of colours. I have got, um, what's this called? I've pulled out... Um, steel blue i can't see and graphite gray so those are the colors i'm using from the graphite tint and i've also pulled out yellowish black and greenish black which are these two colors here from the japanesque set okay i've got my piece of kitchen towel at the ready i'm going to start off with the gray and i am just going to tap off some of the paint and i'm just going to go over the branches like like this, just going straight over the oxides, but just focusing on the, 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 the trunks of the trees. Then we can focus on the branches. If you can hear a dog barking in the background, by the way, we are puppy sitting, um, Alex's dog, Toby, and he's upstairs with Sam. This is really early in the morning, by the way. Um, my craft room has been out of action for most of the week because we've got decorating going on in the house. And so I wasn't going to do a video today, but I've got up really early. It's um, early Sunday morning. Um, puppy's awake, so the likelihood is that this video will um, go up later than than usual but you know at least we've got something um I'm just having to go with it. They've been decorating the hall stairs and landing uh, um, and the bedrooms upstairs and it's just made it impossible to get to my craft room because all the furniture has been piled up outside my craft room door. But we are making progress and um, it's looking absolutely lovely. 
no pain, no gain, as they say. But oh my goodness me, isn't decorating disruptive? So there we go. We've got a bit of colour on the barks of the, the, the trees. Let's, um, let's add some colour to the, to the branches now. So I'm just going to carry on playing, playing with this. Now, as you can see, I'm coming back in with some more of the grey, just in a, a darker value, and just adding some to the left-hand side of the trees. And I'm going to do this on, on all of them. So add a little bit darker. Then I'm going to add some of this greenish black. And... Let's see what we can do with this. Let's try and add a few details, not too much, just to try and get some different tones in the painting. You see, that's lovely. That's a beautiful colour. I've put all these colours out and, you know, I bet I only use a couple of them now. <laughs> so I think we'll add some of that yellowish black as well. Let's mix these two together and just add a little bit on the on the branches. I want a little bit of the the white just to give it some some contrast. Right, I think I've reached a place where I'm happy. So let me just move my watercolors out of the way. I've just used all four of those colors until I got something that I was happy with. Next, I want to use some um, transparent yellow iron oxide acrylic paint. So I'm just going to put some of this onto a piece of palette paper. That should be um, enough. And I'm going to use some Q-tips to add some leaves to my painting. I've got um, a loom band. This is one of the kids' loom bands. Mine used to play with this all the time when they were little. I've just got five of these bunched um, together. And I'm just going to dab my Q-tips in the paint. I don't want too much of it. And I'm just going to dab some onto my background. That's not quite, quite enough. I've done Q-tip painting with trees before and I just think it's really effective. So I'm just going to dab this on just to give the illusion of some leaves. I'm going off the edge as well. Right, let me just rearrange my um, my Q-tips, make sure that I've got them all nice and, nice and flat. That's better. So I'm just gonna keep dabbing that is such a beautiful colour. And I'm thinking as well, I might go and grab some um, yellow paint as well. I've also got some of the cadmium yellow, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that as well. I just want something to um, give it a bit of contrast. Let's add some of this in here as well. Yeah, you see that looks lovely. Let's just add a little bit of yellow and I want to give the illusion as well of some leaves that have fallen so let's just add a bit along the bottom I'm dipping into the iron oxide as well I don't want too much along the, the bottom let's add some of that that yellow that yellow is gorgeous I've decided to leave it there because I like how that looks and I don't want to completely overdo it. I've got more of the darker leaves that are on the ground as well because the yellowy ones are sort of starting to, to turn brown. So I think what I'll do now is take it off to my paper trimmer, um, trim it out and we'll see how it looks then. So as you can see, I've cut my little painting down and I've just got it resting on a couple of pieces of paper. I've got another piece of watercolour paper here. This is beautifully textured and a piece of craft paper. I haven't stuck it down yet because I might take this off to the printers um, and have it copied so that I can um, use it as cards. I think that's absolutely lovely. What do you think? Well, I'm leaving the video here for today because I think I need to go and relieve Sam of puppy sitting duties. It is so hard to do anything with the puppy because he is full on hard work, as gorgeous as he is. But if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.